I'm going to take you through the great history behind the largest and most ambitious single project. The Akosombo Dam, implemented in one of Africa's greatest countries, Ghana, since its independence in 1957. But before we do, please make sure you subscribe to Adel4 TV on YouTube, like my videos, hit the notification bell, and make sure you select all to receive notifications for all my new videos. The ambition of Ghana's first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, included an industrial revolution which he foresaw as an essential ingredient of growth for the country. key element to driving his industrial revolution was Ghana's ability to generate its own electricity and effectively distribute it, hence the construction of the Akosombo Dam, which produced 588 megawatts when it was inaugurated in 1966, with the country's population at that year around 7.9 million. military head of state from 1972 to 1978, Kenel I.K. Achampo, also saw the growing demand for electricity in Ghana with a population of about 9.2 million and in 1972 inaugurated the Akosombo expansion program which included two additional generators with a maximum capacity of 162 megawatts each. This increased the capacity to 912 megawatts. The Akosombo Dam, also known as the Volta Dam, is a hydroelectric dam on the Volta River in Akosombo in the Esujaman district of the eastern region. The Ghana Hydropower Project has been described as the largest and most ambitious single project implemented since Ghana's independence in 1957. With a volume of 148 cubic kilometers, Lake Volta is the world's largest man-made lake by volume, with the largest being Lake Kariba, which contains 185 cubic kilometers of water. The primary purpose of the Akosombo Dam was to provide electricity for the aluminium industry. The dam was conceived in 1915 by geologist Albert Kitson, but no plans were drawn until the 1940s. The final proposal outlined the building of an aluminium smelter at Tema dam constructed at Akosombo to power the smelter and a network of power lines installed through southern Ghana. The aluminium smelter was expected to eventually provide the revenue necessary for establishing local bauxite mining and refining which would allow aluminium production without importing foreign alumina. The development of the aluminium industry within Ghana was thus dependent upon the proposed hydroelectric power. The proposed project's aluminium smelter was overseen by the American company Kaiser Aluminium and is operated by Valco. The smelter 
received its financial investment from Valco shareholders with the support of the Export Import Bank of the United States. However, Valco did not invest without first requiring insurance from Ghana's government, including company exemptions from taxes on trade and discounted purchases of electricity. The estimated total cost of the Kosumbunta project was $258 million. In May 1960, the government of Ghana called for tenders for the construction of the hydroelectric dam. In 1961, an Italian consortium, Brajillo, which had just completed the Cariba Dam, won the contract. Volta River Authority VRA, was also established in the same year by Ghana's parliament through the passage of the Volta River Development Act. Its fundamental operations were structured by six board members with Kwame Nkrumah as the chairman. The VRA was taxed with the management of the development of the Volta River Basin, which included the construction and supervision of the dam, the power station and the power transmission network. Other responsibilities included the reservoir impounded by the dam, fishing within the lake, lake transportation and communication, and the welfare of those surrounding the lake. The development of the dam was undertaken by the government of Ghana and funded 25% by the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development of the World Bank, the United States and the United Kingdom. Kilo carried out the dredging of the riverbed and the watering of the channel, completed the dam a month earlier than scheduled. Despite the flooding of the Volta River in 1963, which delayed work for over three months. The dam was built between 1961 and 1965. The dam is 660 meters long and 114 meters high comprising a high rock fill embankment dam. It has a base width of 366 meters a structural volume of 7.9 million cubic meters. The reservoir created by the dam, Lake Volta, also has a capacity of 148 cubic kilometers and a surface area of 8,502 square kilometers. The lake is 400 kilometers long. The maximum lake level is 84.73 meters, with the minimum being 73.15 meters. On the east side of the dam are two adjacent spillways that can discharge about 34,000 cubic meters per second of water. Each spillway contains six 11.5 meter wide and 13.7 meter tall steel floodgates. Currently, the dam's power plant contains six 170 megawatt turbines. Each turbine is supplied with water 
var a 112 to 116 meter long and 7.2 meter diameter penstock with a maximum 68.8 meters of hydraulic head afforded. The dam's original electrical output of 912 megawatts was upgraded to 1020 megawatts in a retrofit project that was completed in 2006. The construction of the Akosombo Dam resulted in the flooding of parts of the Volta River Basin and its upstream fills and in the creation of Lake Volta, which covers 3.6% of Ghana's total land area. Lake Volta was formed between 1962 and 1966 and necessitated the relocation of about 80,000 people who represented 1% of the population. People of 700 villages were relocated into 52 resettlement villages two years prior to the dam's completion and the resettlement program was under the direction of the VRA. 2% of the resettlement population were repairing fishers and most were subsistence farmers. The eastern region of Ghana and the populations incorporated within its district were more subject to the project's effects. The dam provides electricity to Ghana and its neighboring West African countries, including Togo and Benin. Initially, 20% of the Akosombo Dam's electric output, 770% of the national demand was provided to Ghanaians in the form of electricity with the remaining 80% generated for VAR. The Ghana government was compelled by contract to pay for over 50% of the cost of Akosombo's construction but the country was allowed only 20% of the power generated. Although the Volta River Authority VRA was established with a mandate to generate, transmit, and distribute electricity under the Volta River Development Act, Act 46 of the Republic of Ghana, following the promulgation of a major amendment to the Act within the context of the Ghana Government Power Sector Reforms in 2005, the VRA's mandate has now been largely restricted to the generation of electricity. The amendment has created an enabling environment to attract independent power producers IPPs, into the Ghana energy market. Through the amendment, VRA's transmission function has been segregated into a separate entity designated as the Ghana Grid Company Gridco. The distribution agency, the Northern Electricity Department NED, established in April 1987, also evolved into the Northern Electricity Distribution Company, NEDCO, a wholly owned standalone subsidiary of the VRA. The VRA has also diversified its power generation portfolio to take advantage of available and sustainable sources of energy, mainly hydro, natural gas, and renewables. The authority owns and operates a total installed electricity generation capacity of 2,532 MW. The two main hydro plants, Akosombo and Pong Generating Stations, both located on the Volta River, have 1,020 MW and 160 MW respectively. The 
are complemented by a 2.5 megawatt solar PV plant at Navrongo in the eastern region, a 6.5 megawatt solar PV plant at Laura, and a 13 megawatt solar PV plant at Kalio, both in the upper west region. The VRA also owns a number of thermal plants located at Abuazi near Takwadi in the western region and the thermal enclave in the greater Accra region. The authority's thermal facilities include the 330 MW Takwadi Thermal Power Station T1. 340 megawatts Takradi International Company Thermal Power Plant T2, which is a joint venture between the VRA and TAQA from Abu Dhabi. 110 megawatts Thermal Thermal 1 Power Plant TT1PP, now designated to Station 2. 80 megawatts thermal thermal 2 power plant TT2PP designated as station 3. A 220 megawatts home thermal power station KTPS and a 250 megawatts Mary power plant which the government of Ghana handed over to VRA in January 2022 to manage as part of its portfolio. If you like this video and more videos from Adel4 TV, kindly subscribe, make sure you like my videos and hit the notification bell and make sure you choose all to ensure that you receive all videos from Adel4 TV. Thank you very much for watching this video. Cheers.